overcome it. So please help me in welcoming the former Rancor trainer, Malakili. <laughs> All right, Malika, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Obi-Wan. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm so thrilled. What a terrific audience. Oh my God. <laughs> I was going to say, it looks I'm like, doing great. Yeah, it looks like you have a bit of pep in your step. Yeah, you know, I had to learn the hard way a while back that life's going to throw you all kinds of challenges and problems, but you just got to roll with the punches. I'm perfectly fine. All right, well, I, I hate to bring this up, but it's been about a year since that rancor got smushed, and I, I just wanted to. I think we actually have a clip from that day. Can we, can we take? Oh, we don't have to do that. No, let's let's roll the clip. Let's roll it. Yeah, yeah, well that was clearly a really fucked up thing that happened to me. <laughs> but, but you know, I've, I've done a lot of work over the last couple months and I, and I truly have sort of gotten over it. So I, I, I'd love to talk, you know, to you and, and to everybody about some of my newer projects I'm working on. Of course, I just, I just wanted to bring up the bantha in the room, you know? Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's very funny. That's, that's a very funny joke. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, how about we switch gears here and I got some pretty cool stuff coming up on the horizon. Please, tell, <laughs> yes, tell. So, uh, yeah, uh, I, I'm sort of actually getting out of the animals game and I've started a music career. That's right, I formed a band, we're hitting the road, we're doing a quick tour to Geonosis and then right back here to do a big home show in Moss Eisley. A band? I didn't, I didn't know you had any musical talent. Oh, why? Because I'm just a stupid animal guy? Oh, uh, no, no. No, that's, that's not at all what I, what I meant. No, no, no. No, uh, no. Ha, I'm just screwing with you, Obi! I'm just screwing! Just doing some screwing! Everything's great in my life! Uh, Mother Kelly, if you're uncomfortable, we, we can uh, start this whole thing over. I don't know if you're a little touchy or something. You know. Touchy? Touchy? Who's touchy? I'm not touchy at all. I'm perfectly fine. What about you guys think I'm touchy, huh? How about you, haircut, huh? You think I'm touchy? You think I'm being a touchy scary? Oh, oh no, it's that bad for little boy. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to come on this show and talk about my new a cappella band, the Tatutones. But all, <laughs> but all you two pricks want to bring up is the death of my beloved. His name was Carlisle, by the way. He had a name. Um, that you want to bring up the death of my beloved Carlisle, and it makes me sick. An a cappella band. Okay, listen. I, I, I think all we want to do here is we just want to move past it. Okay. Don't you dare talk to me about moving past things, you son of a gun. Listen to me, okay? <laughs> you don't have to go through every single day of your life seeing the the whites leave his eyes as that door shattered Carlisle's spine. I, I don't think I don't think we should continue. Yeah. You know, he lived for twenty minutes after that door fell. <laughs> The initial shock sent him to sleep, but the pain woke him back up. And he just sat there, pissing and puking and voiding his bowels and shrieking for 20 full uninterrupted minutes while I stood there moping like a sack of yams because I couldn't do anything to help my beloved Carlisle. <laughs> and I just watched him die over and over again every night before bed. And I just sit there and I think humanity wrote the check and Carlisle had to sign for it for their sins. <laughs> Ma Malachi, Malachi. Oops, what? Carlisle will be with you, always. Really? From a certain point of view. <laughs> I'll be right back with more Tatooine tonight.